Hi friends, welcome back to Plants and Lucia. My name is Lucia and today we're going to be talking about 10 plants that will thrive or will do okay in lower light conditions. Okay, coming up! Okay everyone, thank you so much for watching. Just a small disclaimer, these plants will need some amount of sunlight. So I'm not talking about plants that will need no sunlight whatsoever and no source of light because every plant needs some sunlight to survive and if you give it no sunlight, most likely it will die. <laughs> so these plants prefer lower light conditions and some of them will even thrive in shady rooms. But of course provide some amount of sunlight. Okay. Let's get to the list. Number one, the zetzed plant. <laughs> As you may know, the zetzed plant is one of the easiest plants to have. Actually, in my opinion, I think it's the easiest plant. So every time someone asks me for an easy plant or low maintenance plant, I always recommend them the zetzed plant. It's a super adaptable plant. So if you have a shady room or a room that doesn't get so much sunlight, this plant will be okay there. So in conclusion, if you're a beginner who has a low light room and want a beautiful plant, the Zetze plant is for you. Number two, the bird's nest fern. This plant, you guys, is so beautiful. First of all, you can see the curves on the leaves. I always say that this plant looks like it's dancing and is super adaptable. So this plant will be happy with bright, indirect sunlight, but it will also be okay in lower light conditions. Another thing that I love about the bird's nest fern is the way that the new leaves curl up. It's super pretty, so I always love to see new leaves on this plant. Number three is this queen. This is the golden potos. And I gotta say, right now, this is my favorite plant because we're actually entering the colder and darker months, but she continues to grow. As a matter of fact, this plant is super easy to propagate and I'm actually propagating her right now. She is super adaptable and very resilient. And this one actually prefers lower light conditions. So if we provide too much bright sunlight, she will not be happy. So if you have a room that doesn't have so much sunlight and you want to bring some light to it, this plant is perfect for you. Number four is another potos. This is the silver potos. And guys, this is also a beautiful plant. I love it because of various reasons. First, the feel of this plant is so soft. It's almost like velvet. On top of that, this plant really shines. So if you look at the variegation of the leaves, it's almost like silver and shining. It's really beautiful. And this one also prefers lower light conditions. If we provide too much sunlight, the leaves will lose their shine. So it's a beautiful plant and I totally recommend getting it. <laughs> Number five, and this one we could not miss, is the English Ivy. Of course I had to put this one, it's a very easy plant to take care of and they really prefer lower light conditions. And it's really easy to propagate. Actually, this branch right here is one of the propagations that we did this summer. And it's doing really well, so I wanted to show you guys. Okay, on to the next. Number six, the Boston Fern. I love this fern because of the fronds. They're really delicate and beautiful. And this plant will be happy with bright, indirect sunlight, but it will also be okay in lower light conditions. As long as you provide some light for her and of course high humidity because they really love humidity. Number seven, the Calathea medallion or pretty much any type of Calathea. These plants really prefer lower light conditions to bright light. If we provide too much sunlight, they will lose the colors on their leaves and the edges will burn a little bit. So as you can see, this leaf has some dried edges. So this may be related to lack of humidity or too much sunlight. So we decided to put this Calathea in our bedroom and we're providing some humidity with a humidifier and of course, low light conditions so i think it's doing better now the colors of the leaves are so unique you have a very deep green on the top with some variegation that really looks like a painting and on the back we have purple now if you have a calathea in your place 
you may know that they're not the easiest plants to take care of. They're a little bit more challenging, but I can tell you they're totally worth it. If you want to try them out, make sure that you learn more about them so you can provide them with everything that they need. Number eight is the Peace Lily. You may have heard of this one before because it's super popular when it comes to low light level plants. But there is a reason for this. This plant is an amazing plant, you guys. First of all, depending on where you are, this plant can actually bloom even at low light levels. In my experience, this one right here needs a little bit more light in order to bloom. But I've seen with other people that even though they have their Peace Lily in a room with lower light conditions, it still blooms. Anyway, Anyways, even without a flower, this plant is so beautiful. I love the leaves. They're actually really big and they have this silky feeling. And the green color is just so nice. Oh, and actually this plant, according to NASA, is in the top 10 plants to purify the air. So she's just a champion. <laughs> I would say if you have a bedroom with lower light conditions, this plant is an amazing plant to have. You will have a very pretty plant in your bedroom that will be fine with low light. And if you have many of them, they may be able to purify the air while you sleep. Number nine, the Dracaena compacta. I did not want to leave this plant out because it's a very popular plant on this channel. And when it comes to light, it is really adaptable. So this plant will be okay in bright, indirect sunlight, but it will also thrive in lower light conditions. As a matter of fact, we got these LED daylight bulbs for our plant wall right here. And this is where we have our Dracaena right now. And I started to notice that the leaves are actually burning a little bit. So this may be too much light for this plant. And that confirms that she prefers lower light levels. Another thing that I can say about this plant is that when it comes to watering, we have to be careful. The Dracaena is very sensitive to the chemicals in tap water, for example. So what I usually do is I filter the water before I use it to water my plant. So you can use filtered water, distilled water or rain water and she will be fine. And number 10, the spider plant. You may know this, the spider plant is just like the ZZ plant. It's a very easy plant to care for and it is very adaptable. So she will be happy in a room with bright, indirect sunlight or in a room with low light levels. It's a very strong plant and very resilient. And I wanted to include it on the list because I wanted to show you the new babies. I cannot wait for them to be a little bit bigger so we can propagate them together. I had to finish the video with my Zuzu here because really she encompasses it all. She's very easy to care for, very adaptable. She has survived many things and she's perfect for a low light level room. Do you have any other plants that you would recommend for low light level conditions? Make sure to comment below so we can all learn together. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Okay, ciao. <laughs>